February 4th, 2022. First blossoms of the year out in this field. And sure enough, radish, wild radish. As nice as it is to see flowers, it's unfortunate that you don't see native flowers. I filmed the vernal pool being dry last time I was here, so I don't have to film that again, but it's only getting drier. It's a good opportunity to show the different colors of radish. This one's purple and white instead of, you know, almost all entirely white. Still radish, though. So finally, finally we got some Pacific Poison Oak. It's been uh, scarce, to say the least. One of the few natives out here besides the trees. Let's settle this once and for all. Because I'm pretty sure I'm immune. some chervil, which is an introduced plant. It's not considered invasive, but it is not native, unfortunately. A couple of more firsts today. I'm seeing the cleavers. I was wondering when they would show up. They always stand out in my memory because they grab hold of you. These guys aren't terribly sticky yet. Too young, I guess. And See, the miner's lettuce is flowering. Look at the hairs on the blossom that hasn't opened. Right next to those cleavers, we've got some Pacific black snake root. And this, of course, is the miner's lettuce. And there's the chervil again. Oh, here we got some white whorehound. Today's not the first day that I've seen it, but it's really standing out today. Here's kind of a nice learning opportunity to differentiate these plants. Let's pray that I'm not incorrect after making that speech. So I'm pretty sure this is curly dock, and look how the leaves kind of curl in. That was the first description that helped me remember. And right over here, not that, but this one is also a dock, and if I am correct, this one is fiddle dock. You see the differences? You see the, obviously this one doesn't have the little maroon, uh, maroon coloration and doesn't have the curly edges, but if this is fiddle dock, this one's native. Um, unfortunately, there's not much of it. So today, sounded like an almost positive uh, report. I gotta fix that because I am the angry ecologist after all. So I found a handful of natives besides trees in here today, um, but still dominated by non-natives. And then you come out into the field here and other than the tree, no natives. There, see? fit in the grouchy part. I have enough of a memory to remember last year when I was commenting on how tall this grass got underneath this tree that this turned out to be wall barley later on. So unfortunately this isn't anything to get excited about. It's just another annual European agricultural invasive grass. <laughs>